Hey, what's going on guys? It's JP from edgeautosport.com. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, today we have Project FC3 behind me. This is our own 2017 Honda Civic SI shop car. And we're gonna do a video on an exhaust system, upgrading the exhaust. Obviously, that is one of the most popular modifications anybody does to their car, and for a few different reasons. Uh, the first one is obviously to enhance the sound of the car and make it a little bit louder, make it sound a little bit more like a performance car. A lot of people also wanna uh, improve the look of their car. The stock exhaust tip, for example, and this one is, you know, some people might not like it. It's kind of different, kind of funky. Putting a different exhaust tip on there to make it look a little bit better is, is really popular as well. And then lastly, and something that we really like, is the increase in power. Obviously an exhaust system, especially on a turbo car like the Honda Civic, uh, is going to help increase the power of the car, let that turbo breathe a little bit better. So for any given reason, uh, you might want to upgrade your exhaust and we're going to show you how to do that and what happens when you do it to your car. The 1.5 turbo 10th gen Civics have a 2.4 inch outer diameter exhaust. The new three inch exhaust is obviously going to give that a significant amount more room for the turbo to breathe and make more power. Now from a sound standpoint, the stock exhaust also features a resonator right here in the middle, and it's also gonna give you two big mufflers in the back, and that's going to control sound heavily. It's gonna control sound quite a bit. So depending on what exhaust you end up going with, and, and depending on what the setup is on that exhaust with resonators and mufflers, it's going to vary in, in sound. Okay, everybody, we just got the stock exhaust off of the Civic here. And as you can see, it's all one piece. It's fairly easy to get off. It's, it's really not that hard, but it is all one piece, so you'll probably need some sort of help. Uh, or if you're on the ground, maybe let it rest on the ground or something while you take the other side off. But uh, we have uh, the AFE Power 3-inch exhaust that we're putting on here. So. Um, this one features two mufflers in the back and it deletes the resonator that's featured in the stock exhaust. Now, full disclosure, uh, this has actually been on the car before, before we decided to do this video. So we took it off, put the stock exhaust back on so that we can make this video. So yours, if you get an AFE exhaust or any exhaust for that matter, brand new from us, it'll obviously look a lot better than this, but this does have a heat signature where it's closer to the turbo, where it's been heated up, and it's just got some, some road grime on it. And it's also slightly fully, uh, slightly assembled. So uh, we did elect the carbon tips on this one. They're, uh, they're you know, obviously carbon colored, uh, and it's gonna look good on the white car, in our opinion, but there are a couple different, a few different tip options. Uh, but it's full three inch, it's 304 stainless steel, they come brushed from AFE, so it's a really, really nice, clean look. And it's gonna be more durable than the mild steel is on the factory exhaust. So we're also gonna weigh these things. We just wanna see what the difference is in weight, if there is any, uh, between the two exhausts. So uh, we'll get that done, and then we're gonna start installing the AFE exhaust. Okay, so after weighing the two exhaust systems, the stock exhaust is actually around 10 pounds less than the upgraded AFE power exhaust. That could be because of a couple reasons, you know, maybe the piping diameter, you know, because there is more metal, could have some thicker wall uh, tubing, could be a lot of different things, but just keep that in mind when you're searching for your exhaust, you're not always gonna get a lighter exhaust. So now let's get started on installing the AFE power on the car.
right, so we are out on the road in the Civic with the AFP power exhaust on. And the first impressions are that with just a cat back on, I assume that a lot of exhausts are gonna be fairly quiet without replacing other parts of the exhaust as well. But this one is pretty darn quiet. It's, it's a subtle increase in sound compared to stock. Uh, so, so very, very, very mild, uh, but, but noticeable at the same time. So it's a very quiet exhaust, but noticeable. Uh, I don't dislike it, that's for sure. There's zero droning, zero uh, uncomfortable, you know, nails against a chalkboard type of sounds going on here. It's very, very mild and nothing to be dissatisfied about other than maybe it's not too loud. So we're gonna give it a little uh, wide open throttle run here and, and we'll show you that. Of course, we're in the car right now, so uh, you'll get a sound, you'll get an example of what it's like in the car. Not really sure if that picks up very much on camera, but uh, if it doesn't, it is just simply because this exhaust is pretty quiet. So that dual muffler setup is definitely keeping the sound down on this one. But some guys like that. Some guys like to have the three inch open exhaust and not too much sound. It is definitely, I would say this is definitely a sleeper exhaust from a sound standpoint. Okay, we are back at the dyno now with the Honda Civic with the new exhaust. We're gonna put it on there and see how much more power we can get out of it. Here are the numbers that uh, that the car made. Now, if you if you look at the thin line, the lower line, that is our original baseline. Now, that's with the car tuned on 91 octane. So that is that is custom tuning done to the car. And then all we did, no tuning changes. All we did was just add on the AFE power exhaust. As you can see, the pull was started at a, at the same exact location and really throughout the entire RPM range, it picks up power. Now you can see at the end here, it drops off power. That's because the car was getting really hot on the dyno. The intake air temperatures were starting to get too high and the ECU starts to pull timing at that point. So that's why it goes down right here. But that's a good reason to get an intercooler upgrade because that would probably alleviate that issue right there. But as you can see, even the torque line right here, the blue line, there's a lot of torque gain throughout the entire RPM range just for bolting on an exhaust. You have at the peak torque area, you have about eight pound feet that you pick up compared to stock torque on the, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, torque on the, on this car just tuned with all the stock parts on it. At the, the peak differences for the horsepower is about five horsepower, but as you can see, plenty of horsepower to be gained throughout the entire RPM range. So pretty neat stuff for just bolting on a cat back. You can see actual power gains, which is awesome. Okay guys, so that is what it takes to get an exhaust on your 10th gen Civic. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully we provided some insight that helped you decide which exhaust you wanna get. If you wanna get an exhaust, of course we'd always appreciate uh, getting an exhaust from us. Make sure you check out the website, edgeautosport.com and you can find plenty over there. We're super pumped that the car uh, is making a little bit more power from just bolting that on too. So. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, make sure you put them below, and we'll get back to you. Thanks, guys.